So welcome to another segment of Online Guests here on Bandbond, today with Gabe Mangold from Enterprise Earth. Uh, you guys released an EP called Foundation of Bones, and on June 19th or Juneteenth, you decided to donate uh, some proceeds from your web store sales to an organization. How did that decision come about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we donated 25% of all web store sales on June 19th to the NAACP uh, Legal Defense Fund, just, you know, in, in observance of the significance of that holiday, um, uh, uh, you know, and the significance of everything that was going on in our country and, our, and around the world, too. Yeah. Um, you know, felt like we should do something. And a couple of weeks prior, we did we did another drive with a T-shirt that went to, like, protester bail funds and stuff like that as well. And for three days, we had 100% of all, all web store sales go, go to protester bail funds. So just, oh. just trying to do, just trying to try, trying to do what we can, you know, we're not a huge band. We're not Metallica and can't raise millions of dollars for a foundation or anything, but we have a small platform and if we can do a little something, even if it's a couple thousand bucks, then, you know, yeah. that's cool. So the decision to release an EP in between albums, how, how did that come about? Uh, it was very impromptu. Uh, we got home, we had a canceled, European tour. Fortunately, we almost made it to the end of the tour. We had three three shows left in Germany, but uh, we the travel ban went into effect, so we had to go home. Um, yeah, we got home, let the dust settle for a minute, and then we're like, yeah, you know, fuck it, let's just uh, let's let's write some new music and let's record it and let's try to do it ourselves. You actually did a few covers on the on the EP as well. One from Lamb of God and one from Record um, mm -hmm. The decision behind those choices. Sure. Um, well, they're just two very influ influential bands for all of us. Uh, like uh, Ashes of the Lake is probably Dan, one of Dan and I's favorite albums of all time uh, from Lamb of God. And the Necrophagist is just Necrophagist, you know, tech, tech death staple. Um, and uh, yeah, we just, yeah, we're like, yeah, I, we feel like it'd be a lot of fun to do two, two I guess, at this point, classic uh, death metal tunes oh, yeah. uh, to kind of give them our modern twist on them. And it, it was a lot of fun. Heading on to the new album that is in the making, I'm guessing. Where, where in the process are you now of making a new album? Yeah, yeah. So that's been uh, writing for that album actually started last last summer, and oh. now we're we're about 85 percent done with the instrumentation for it. Dan's about halfway through his vocals ish, somewhere around there. And uh, August and September, I'm taking off to begin tour to finish writing and then record record all uh, guitars and bass and stuff like that for the record and then the goal is to have it done by the end of the year and then release it when the world isn't going to shit again so, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. anyway. what are your thoughts on touring and performing in the future with regards to the, the COVID-19 situation going on right now what, what are your thoughts as a band and I mean think about the fans coming to the concerts I'm feeling it's going to be a long winter here in the states um for touring so I'm just waiting we'll just wait until we can play shows safely and legally again I can't play shows hey eh? I mean at least we can write songs maybe you know we can think of some one-off show or event or something like that we can do to have some fun and get maybe get a small group of people together but who knows it'll be interesting because a lot of uh you know uh privately owned venues and you know smaller venues are like they're they're really hurting right now over here um you know because they're, they're not really getting much assistance from from anywhere government or anything like that aside from like crowdfunding sources which has been great for a lot of venues here that i've seen um but yeah it'll be interesting because venues are closing over here like left and right and it'll, that trend will continue you know if they don't get assistance um i don't know maybe we'll see everything go back to like a punk rock diy kind of touring touring scene i who, who knows uh Live Nation for the bigger venues, they you know they want to cut art, artist guarantees by twenty percent, but they still want to charge their thirty percent merch rate. Mm -hmm. So it's like that's kind of shot. I don't I don't know what's going to go on there. We're I mean the, a band of our level, we're not playing like you know to thousands and thousands of people yet. But um, so I, I feel like for us, I I don't know if if a lot of the venues we play are privately owned venues. So if those aren't open or they can't hold shows, I don't who knows what will happen. It'll be very very interesting this yeah. uh, next six six to 12 months listen Gabe I, I won't take up much more of your time right now so happy camping and uh, stay safe and it was really nice talking to you and welcome back to Sweden and we'll, we'll enjoy your new EP foundation of Bones and we're going to play it loud that's a promise awesome sounds good yeah thanks for having me and uh, yeah good talking with you